Joe with Gramophone. We're here at Cedia 2024, and we've been having a lot of fun. We're here today with Richard Latovsky of Mad VR. Richard, how you feeling? Hey, Joe. Good to see you. Long good. way from home for both of us. Long way for both of us. Pull I got up at one o'clock in the morning Denver time to fly <laughs> out here today. Oh wow! As you know, video technology has been rocketing ahead, and actually, you've won a number of awards for. A, a new product that you've got here. So we want to ask you first off about the new product, also then secondly about all the awards that you've won. And we, we were at the CDCE Pro Awards and watched you get an award there. So yeah, no, uh, thanks, the accolades Joe. are coming in. So things are going good for Mad VR right now. So maybe you can tell our listeners a little bit about what you got going on. Yeah, no, absolutely. And thanks so much, Joe. It's always a pleasure to be with you and your amazing audience through Gramophone. And so yeah, we, uh, we've we been on quite a roll on the MB Core. It's not even shipped yet, but it's been at a couple of shows and it's been racking up some great awards. Um, we were uh, fortunate enough to win, uh, to be named in the Inc. 5000, top fastest growing companies, private companies in America. So that just was about a month ago. So we were really excited about that number 77 in consumer products in the nation. So That's that was awesome. really awesome. Um, uh, CDA 2023 best new hardware product, Projector Central best of show for the MB Core, and also ABS Forum best of CDA 2024 also for the MB Core and CE Pro. 2024 uh, best uh, product at, it's, at the show. So we're really excited about that and happy to tell you all about this little baby and everything you can do. Yeah, you know, we had a very successful event at Gramophone in December of last year, so not quite a year ago. We sold a lot of product that night. I think the people who didn't buy a product that night wanted to buy a product. They saw what you could do technologically. They saw how much better a movie would, how much more enjoyable a movie would be. But the price point scared off a few of them. So now you've come with a product that is a lot less money, but delivers a lot of the features. So maybe Correct. you can dive into the core a little bit. Yeah, so what we have here is the MB Core. So the MB Extreme Mark II is $16,000 MSRP. And this is what we sold a bunch with you guys to uh, your customers back in December. Right. Um, and then as you mentioned, this is the MB Core. Now it's just $5,000. So half the price, half the weight, and less than a third of the price of the MB Extreme while still having most of the same core features. And that is why we call it the MB Core, because it delivers your upscaling, it delivers your subtitle management, your nonlinear stretch, all your instant aspect ratio handling, your best in class HDR tone mapping, all the calibration control, control for control systems like Crestron, Crestron Home, Control 4, Savant, RTI, all these. We directly now control screen masking, we control the AVR, and allow you to automatically change presets in the MB when the masking system, I'm sorry, when the uh, control system uh, changes. So that's really big because you don't necessarily have to have a control system anymore uh, to get this sort of integration. For example, if you want your projector to go into different picture mode when it's HDR versus SDR, you do that all now directly from the MB. So there's still a place for the advanced control systems, uh, depending on other things like lighting and shading and so forth. Sure. But for more than things that are video central, um, it's not necessarily a requirement anymore. Which is fantastic and because TV technology has, as you well know, over the last few years just leaped forward, this it would seem to me might be really appropriate with television sets. Oh not yeah. Just because we we're thinking with this more is really your projector solution, but this can go with TVs. Right, yeah, so um, the, the MB Extreme is used in flat panel like high-end video walls. Right. Um, it's gotten very popular. It's powered several of those here at the show. We're in about 12 different locations here at CDA 24. It's been really exciting. Um, but for TVs that you mentioned, so we've actually started taking pre-orders for the core, uh, I guess it was about a month ago. And the number of people pre-ordering it for use along with TVs was really staggering. Mm -hmm. And I think a lot of it is that price point because it's much more approachable at $5,000 or $4,995 technically. And so it means that, you know, we do have plenty of customers that would put a $16,000 or $10,000 MV Pro on a $5,000 TV. Uh, we had some that would do it on a two, $3,000 TV, but for the most part, 
no, that's not a good match. But this is the MV Core, and it's designed for the MV Extreme in the primary theater, and then the MV Core for other TVs around the house. Or in more modest theaters, you can use an MV Core to power everything with the TV. It's a perfect combination. Really, three key things that make the MV Core perfect for a television. First is the best in class HDR tone mapping, identical to what you get in the MB Extreme. So I should take a moment to say that just because it's a smaller case and just because it's a third of the price doesn't mean we skimped on the video processing. So the features that they have in common all run at the same quality levels and the same strength. That's so there's awesome. no going down. You can put an MB Extreme and MB Core side by side, put the tone mapping on, they're going to look identical. Okay. Okay, so being the HDR tone mapping is one thing. Then you also have the upscaling. So that's really important. We're still watching a ton, unfortunately, of 1080p from broadcast TV. And we will be for a while, right? We, it's, it's no end in sight, right? Yeah. We're lucky if we get one 4K sporting <laughs> event on the weekend, right? <laughs> and so the, being able to, to upscale that to 4K or 5K or 8K even in the case of the Extreme, the Pro will go up to 4K, will deliver a sharper using AI better image onto the TV that's upscaled. Right. But the other thing that it's often overlooked is that our nonlinear stretch, which is a patent pending for being bi-directional, which essentially means that we can stretch for both 16 by 9 screens as well as scope screens. So most people when they think about nonlinear stretch, which is getting rid of the black bars, they think that it's for people that have like a projector screen and, a, and an extra wide screen. In the Not case of true. the MB Core, you can get that 16 by 9. So when you're on a TV here, like this is a 70, uh, sorry, a 97 inch OLED from LG. Beautiful set. Um, and, but you know, the black bars are about this big when you're watching content on the top and the bottom. So that's really deflating. You sit down, watch a movie, and then I'm sure the audience recognizes it. So those black bars come on and kind of you just feel the air come out of the room like this is how we're spending the next two hours really like so what you can do with the nonlinear stretch is you can actually cut those black bars in half without noticing any stretch and bring back much more immersive and that is the number one reason that in the tone mapping that we're seeing seeing people want to pair the MV Core with TVs. You know I, I think why it's so deflating, Richard, is you, you paid for a big TV and now here come the black bars and you think, well, why did I pay for all this screen that's not even being used? And you, you feel cheated. So it's an awesome feature that you guys can give back some of that real estate that you put out your hard-earned money for. Right, and the beautiful thing is, like I mentioned, there's a lot of setups here at CD running these on 16 by 9 screens. I believe that most, if not all of them, are set up that way. And so you have literally hundreds of people, perhaps thousands of people show wide that are seeing images with the MB that are scope content on a 16 by 9 screen and have no idea because now it looks more like the bezel than a black bar. Yes, yes. And that's the beauty is can you stretch it without noticing it, right? Yes. And that's what we do in our demos and then we show people like, do you notice anything special about this? Or like, you know, like this is how it's supposed to look and like, oh, those black bars. I didn't <laughs> think it was one of those movies. Like, yep, there you go. <laughs> Well, Richard, we're extremely excited about the demo that we're going to get because you guys have set up with Trinov and others this wonderful demo room here. So we're about to get a demo that we're all excited about because, of course, we're in business with these kinds of products, but we're music and movie fans too. We love a concert video or a thriller of a movie as well as anybody, so we're going to get to enjoy that treat. But we really want to thank you for just spending a little time with us here before you get the demo fired up because we can see what a special product this is going to be and how it's going to be available to a lot more of our customers now. So, uh, yeah, so good job on this and of course the awards back up the fact that you did a good job. Thank you, Joe. Really appreciate it. It's always a pleasure and we'll see you back in our hometown. That soon. Sounds, sounds fantastic, Richard. And we'd like to of course thank all of you folks for watching this video. If you can, please like and subscribe. That helps us out a lot. And for more information about Mad VR and the other video technologies that we have going on these days, please visit gramophone.com. We look forward to seeing you soon.